Hello everyone, and thank you very much for watching this video, which is a weird little something, uh, which is half notes of research and half, um, I guess, notes, really. It's, it's just going to be notes about, about my work. Uh, my name is Laura Goodet. Um, I'm a scholar and I work mainly on video games and horror. And um, I'm starting to feel that my house, I poured my heart and soul in um, House Flipper, uh, deserved a little something, a little love and a little, um, yeah, tour, uh, I guess, in order to work on horror and how this game would um, actually entail horrific elements. Okay, this is not the house I'm design. Well, th that I'm interested in today. Um, this is a really nice house as well, but I'm going to take us to the terrible, terrible, horrific house I am designing right now. Um, right now I'm in the middle of uh, of well uh, redoing Sir Martha Myers' house. Uh, obviously, I was interested in it because not only because it was in the um, apocalyptic uh, uh, um, element, but also because Sir Martha Myers was in need of a complete overhaul and so on. This house must be haunted. I was interested to see this uh, when I, you know, when I saw it in the listing. So I just decided to buy it. The house itself was indeed haunted, and uh, kudos to the developers for making such a wonderful, wonderful experience out of a game I was not expecting much. You know, I wasn't expecting to be uh, uh, creeped out by House Flipper ever. Um, but yeah, at one point, you know, after a few forays in the domain of horror, uh, little bodies walking backwards on their hands, very exorcist style, uh, I had to bury a coffin. And um, I took away all the uh, haunting, I guess, from the house and replaced it with my own terrible, terrible, uh, horrific crap. As of now, I'm very interested, you know, when it comes to research in uh, kitsch and campy things. So the first thing I did was to overdo everything. And this video really uh, uh, targets this exploration of how I tried to do everything a little creepier, a little more unsettling for many various reasons. Um, yeah, I, I thought that this was going to be a good little pavement uh red and, and and black i mean it's very kitsch isn't it it's very overdone it's very uh um something that you would expect uh i put way too many plants and i really picked the horrendous ones so that my garden would not be beautiful but obviously you know there's um something that that, that won me uh um a prize at the american garden con context contest and was very glad as you can see this is the beginning this is where um yeah we're starting to see these little arrangements that did not work as as i wanted and you'll see it from the inside i mean it's terrible to have these scarecrows and this plays on scoptophilia and the fear of, of being watched uh but unfortunately with the lights here it did not work the way i intended them to um this is a test and i put three of them and yeah outside i wanted to create a dull atmosphere like I wanted to have a nice little fire going on and an oven for pizzas and that kind of things I mean the chairs are a little too far and the brassier is just horrible and and the plants are not good so I like that very much um, I like be uh, putting a pool here um, I wasn't able unfortunately to drown uh, little toys but I really wanted that and um, I'm very happy to have this arrangement i mean the dull fireplace and the big big sauna thing next to the grave uh i did not have a choice and i can actually um take this tree and put it somewhere else so i, I had to make do with that so i created this very very kitsch very campy thing a uh, graveyard i'm using air quotes uh, the way i just did it, it's heinous i know um but I used them that that's coming from Susan Sontag's work uh, uh notes on camp that I read not a long time ago because I was working on on kitschy and campy things as you can see scarecrows I mean I was never afraid 
to overdo it uh, because this is where kitsch lies. You know, saturating the space makes it harder and harder to block out the terribleness of I mean, it's a terrible house, isn't it? I, I did not want to redo the, the uh, outer walls too much. You know, I, I still wanted it to look like a normal house, even though the paint on the first floor, oh, it's so dull. Okay, let's get inside. I, I just changed the door itself. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I wanted the first room to be okay um and i overdid it i oversaturated the space with black and actually black and white work uh fairly well and i wanted to saturate the um the ceiling I, I wanted everything to be a little too big a little too clunky and as you can see we have our little scarecrows outside hey guys uh and unfortunately there's a reflection of the light and you can't see the other scarecrow on the on this window uh, that's unfortunate um yeah not really nice furniture. It's nice. It's expensive. I like this painting. And as you can see, the, the scarecrow appears and then it disappears. It, it just adds to the mystery of this house, really. Um, I, I Special care was given to the um, to the walls and, and to these. And I don't want to pick it up because it's too beautiful. Uh, I picked a book on European castles because well, why not? You know, that's very very overdone and i put a little webcam here i mean it's nice I'm an old crt monitor uh here's the first bathroom um it's beautiful and i selected doors that did not make the make it beautiful at all um i, I like the fact that this is a bathroom that kind of looks like a closet um yeah very unpractical bathroom uh horrible even um you still have your scarecrow because you, it's important you know to uh never be alone uh and never be not watched uh uh this is the beginning of my forays this is one of the first rooms i, I designed um this is the beginning of my forays into once again by the way the light is a little too big it's a little too clunky um and maybe it um, um, counteracts the whole effect I wanted to create but I like the fact to have like these lamps right above the bathtub you know it's a promise that is made and and all these you know ventilations here that's just terrible uh, I picked the more intense you know the, the most intense colors I could and yeah it's it's just a terrible terrible bathroom but it's still fine you know it's it's still okay like I, I would uh, maybe use that bathroom. Like, I, I, I may be able to shower here or, or something. Um, this is the beginning also of the little uh, details I put into being a settling. And what I chose was to put things a little off the wall, you know, a little down whatever you would expect so that nothing would be as clear and nice as expected. Uh, that's very kitsch. That's very, you know, we have the seriousness and then we have this kitsch going on um, here. I mean, it was a very simple redesign of that room. Once again, the ominous chandelier. It's way too much. A newspaper and, and once again, my, my friend, the scarecrow and, and all these clocks around. Uh, I, this, I wanted the house to have a very unsettling, absurd, absurd um, look, kind of. We're going to go downstairs in a minute, but um, let's let's try and see uh, the upper floor, as you can see. So this is the other door, and I, I, I didn't do much, you know, I, I didn't tweak the patio because I, I, I did not want to overdo it too much because it's already very, very loaded, isn't it? Okay, um, second floor, I guess. Uh, here, if I remember, we have a uh, bathroom a murder room, a children's bedroom, and an adult bedroom. Let's start with a bathroom. It's the, the, plach, it's terrible. This looks like the inside of a monster, really. Um, Still black doors, you know, sleek and charming and all, but still very disgusting with way too many lights. Like, that would not be practical in any house, I guess. Uh, it's a little too empty and a little too, ugh. And once again, a little 
webcam. I, I wasn't able, by the way, to, to put any scarecrows on the uh, on the second floor. So, yeah. Uh, uh, once again, saturation of the space, have big chandeliers and an upside down poster because why not? Um, okay, this is one of the most terrible, like this floor, I think I really gave my, my best. Uh, let's see the, the master bedroom first. And once again, you know, it's red and sleek and beautiful. And, and I put little Christmas lights because why not? Because it's so beautiful. Little webcam waits for you with gas masks and uh, a book about this deep psychology, because why not, you know? Um, and flowers, because I think that horror likes being a little off, a little different. A dog bed, an upside down picture, but you know, you can't really tell. And this is the children's bedroom. And once again, slightly off the wall, you know, slightly like the door was almost perfect, but actually it's not. And as you can see, the, oh, the bedroom itself for children is, is just yay. Um, thank you very much, by the way, for the Christmas decorations and the, uh, uh, um, and the, uh, Halloween things that, as you can see, uh, uh, were very useful in the, uh, I, I never realized that they would move. Like I knew that, you know, whenever I would put them on, uh, sometimes the faces would be, you know, uh, uh, um, S neutral and then they would open their eyes i'm so sorry for everybody that has cultrophobia uh, and as you can see whenever i move around some faces stay neutral and others like have their eyes glowing and open that is so beautiful once again i tried to work on taboo like what is the worst thing you could expect in a children's bedroom i guess like guns and yeah and 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 haunted uh, uh, clown masks, probably cut it. Uh, the walls are also very, very loaded. I like the fact that the furnace is probably fed by all these uh, children's toys, although I wasn't really able to, once again, a little, uh, yeah, you're, you're being watched. Uh, even though I couldn't really like put them in, in a heap. I bought a haunted doll uh, for, I mean, obviously, uh, for the only normal neutral element in this bedroom because I, f I thought, you know, you have to have something nice. You have to have like a, a, a dresser and then fill it with terrible, terrible things. Uh, are you going to move again? I hope not because th that is scary as can be. It's even worse at night, by the way. Um, and so, yeah, and, and I really wanted people to visit this house and go like, okay, this is the... Uh, the brown paper walled room and the floor is brown and the walls are brown and you know pretend that like this wall was also brown and that it was only in people's imaginations that they would see it uh, uh, yellow but well yeah so I, I'm I'm happy about this room I, I, I think it's nicely unsettling and I wasn't unfortunately able to put chainsaws in all the beds but uh, I felt like this was nice and uh, oh and that little carpet is a reminder of whatever was going on um in the uh, downstairs in the clock room the only room left is the suicide room uh then i guess and i once again this is a wonderful wonderful place it's very you know twin peaky void i think uh, it only plays on, and, and I kept the uh, original uh, furniture here at well, I got rid of most of it, but I thought it was nice to have this little suicide room. You know, it, it just adds to the whole uh, mystery of, of this place. Once again, by the way, it does contain a webcam because why not? You know, you want to be watched, I guess. And that's something that, that has people feel very, you know, at ease in their own homes. So, yeah. Now let's go to the basement, which like if this house was generally a, like a real house, I would not want to go there. And once again, as you can see, I uh, overloaded everything with a lot of terrible, terrible things. Um, you, we still have our little and I like this addition. You know, it was creepy enough to put it 
uh, when I installed everything, but this is nice, you know, and I, I like to have the all we have is now panel. Actually, the resaturation allows people and the, the beta fighter uh, upside down. This resaturation allows the discourse to be very different because if all we have is now, I mean, what does that entail? And I think that if there are like five posters like this, it entails way, way too much. You know, let's go downstairs. Um, okay, that that starts off as a nice room. I I, I like the fact that there are guns everywhere. I'm uh, I'm not um, an English speaker, as you can probably hear. Uh, so. I think I would freak out if I saw that many guns. And I, I like the fact that, you know, you, you don't watch one TV, you watch two TVs here. Once again, I oversaturated, sorry for the, the camera angle. I saturated the space and, you know, these lamps are nice. Like when you take only one of them, they're pretty cool. But if you put way too many like this, it just, it gives a Stranger thing vibe that I liked. The, oops, the coffin is a little camp, but, you know, who doesn't like ca coffins in, in these types of spaces? Um, once again, a little horrendous doll, because why not? You really saw that there were no uh, kitchen in the first floor, on the, you know, on the ground floor. And that was normal, because I thought that also a nice house has a kitchen, has something nice going on for it. And here I just prepared the most terrible heinous uh, 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 dining room I could find you know I could I could create with like fruit and and probably maggots I hope and knives everywhere that's very silent hill e in the way you know the same object is repeated and repeated and I also put this m way too big way too black dark kitchen here with three fridges, because, I mean, well, you have to have fridges, I guess. If you have this house, if you inhabit here, this place, you have to have way too many toasters as well. Um, you know, you I, I like this absurd uh, uh, practice of having way too many to of one thing that is useless. There are no utensils, by the way, in this kitchen. It's empty on purpose. And everything, I put it all in the, uh, here. I mean, uh, I ruined myself, really. Like, I, I bought, like, for 30,000 euros worth of, of furniture. Like, this is my best house. Uh, there was a hidden wall um, here, which I uh, knocked down and then built back up. And I put a, yeah, this this is nothing, really. I put a little... Uh, room Th that's the beauty of this game by the way there's no light whatsoever here um, so and, and I wanted really the game to, to reflect on that and I'm a little disappointed not to be able to show you this room in its absolute glory with all the sewer grids on the floor and the washer for some reason that was not put properly against a wall that is so unnerving by the way uh, a terrible terrible painting that was here when I moved in and I did not want to, you know, put it on any wall. Neither did I want to, to get rid of it. Uh, it's good because it's awful. You know, this house is good because it's awful. And that's the way I, I want it to be. With gas canisters. And, and I, I did not want anything to make sense. Originally, this was supposed to be a design where um, you would feel a certain kind of uh, claustrophobia. I mean... It's fairly claustrophobic, isn't it, to have to be locked in this fallout shelter without anything going on? And you know you can't uh, put anything against the um, the. Th that's weird because you can buy build walls on the sewer grids, but not doors. So I mean that also explains why the door is slightly off is off. Um, but I think that failures of doing things right is also part of oh hello little spider i had forgotten about it um so yeah this this was this was a an, an endeavor of working on claustrophobia i wanted to put a lot of flowers and a lot of plants and have them you know seemingly live in this airless uh sunless 
terrible, terrible place. I like the campiness of this little uh, spider and for once I did not overdo it. You know, it's it's good because it's awful and it's awful because it's this uh, context. I liked the addition of these elements in the Halloween uh, uh, pack. Um, and I feel like this house completely contains the fear of zombie uh, type of thing. Um, and I also liked the fact that I could create these terrible walls of, of horrendous uh, uh, pickle jars. And that's supposed to be soup, but is it? Um, I don't know. And, and so that, that's the bleakest kitchen I was ever going to create, I think. And I like this chandelier. It's too clunky for its own good, especially in these little uh, places. I also like the fact that I, well, I mean, it's my house. Obviously, um, I liked most of the things I created. This, this was crafted over, as you can see, way too long. Seven hours and a half, I guess, before I started the video. Whoops, the game almost froze on me. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to create something that could be dark with nice bright colors as well. Like I like the fact that there was this carpet, that there were vibrant colors here, but that the only thing that you had to watch were two terrible TVs that were not even, you know, put on a, uh, on, on anything. We're not even put on, on a, uh, on a TV stand or anything. And still, this gets me every time. The, um, the, the guy behind the window here is just horrible. So yeah, that was the, the, I think the worst thing I ever designed in a video game where you have the ability to design things. Um, I really went for it in terms of, um, the uncanny, really the, the unreal, the surreal, the saturated because I, I think that a good, you know, uh, a good fear is also made of unexpected and of whatever is expected, but will, you know, um, like strike you time and time again so that you would uh, eventually feel a little creeped out by all the, the things I, I put. But, you know, yeah, here I am in my garden. There's a tomb. Um, there's like the dullest oven for pizza that is not even connected to anything. There is no fire. Um, there's no promise of anything being nice ever. And that's what I liked about this, um, this house. I don't dare to sell it right away. Um, because I think it's glorious, but, uh, I like it actually. Um, like I like it as a as an endeavor from the game developers to create a scary experience, and it was scary to uh, empty it out. And I like the fact that I had the the choice, you know, to either play it with the actual uh, uh, like plaster of the walls and the blood and everything. Um, and I mean, I I. I like that house. I, I liked it very much. And uh, I'll see how how well it goes, you know, how well it it, it, um, it sells. But uh, thank you very much for, for watching this. Uh, I will, I did not use that many uh, um, sources, references that I've been working on. But I'm very much interested in, uh, in the work of... Uh, uh, David Johnson in the book, uh, The Philosophy of Horror, which is really a good book when it comes to people studying horror and that kind of things. Um, I also read Susan Sontag's book, uh, uh, well, Notes on Camp, because I think that camp and horror walk hand in hand and that the failures that we have here uh, are actually not that filled. And um, But anyways... Thank you so very much, and yay, good vibes, uh, and uh, I'll probably see you in some other video or, or not. <laughs>